Welcome to the prelude of destruction. Make sure you guys smash the like crap out of that subscribe button so you guys thumbs on more awesome content. Hey, Kong still has a little bit left from this set. If there's anything that you want to pick up from this set, those more charmies are looking pretty appetizing for 46 a piece. Honestly, discount code MCO40 will save you on your purchase over here. And I told you when you'd be walking with a booster pack, right? For leaving a comment down below. So welcome to the infinite forbidden, where well the 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 limiter goes off in 18 hours on this set, where we will watch the free fall, the panic, and then the NAWCQ spin back on up to the top of victory here, as things go. But as things are standing right now, as a filming this looking at 300 unfiend smith qcrs well charmy's going about 220s it's kind of interesting i also see fiend smith track qcrs 115 on up to 120 not too bad uh a stellar the white forest here coming in at 100 okay not too bad we've also got fiend smith themselves how's our sales data looking on you because you have been somebody got one for 100 good stuff yeah this card has been rotating all day long. Uh, interesting, it started off at 135 and then rolled on down here as the day has been going to the 116 mark. So that's actually pretty good to take note of. As time has been going on throughout the day, the engraver has been falling, actually. That's pretty good to see. That indicates that, you know, maybe maybe this will go under 100. Again, Roku's actually have hit 100 for the QCRs. That's actually pretty good to see. Uh, it sets the white forest here coming in at 95 on up to 97. Diabell here. Here, Queen coming in at 86. Okay, uh, Dominus Purge QCRs are at $65. Now, like I told you, uh, I still think that this is my hidden pickup of this set. If people are gonna look at this card and they're gonna toss it in the garbage, um, that's insane to me. Uh, let it be cheap. Resellia coming in at 87 right now for the QCR. That's interesting. I wonder how that's gonna settle. Uh, boxes have dropped back down here actually. Uh, this is actually kind of crazy to see. Oops, I guess we got to see their feedback there. Oops. Uh, Infinite Forbidden Boxes, as of filming this, have re somebody fire sold at 68 a box? That's insane. Yeah, these 80 ones, I don't think are going to sit around here for very long. Um, I think you're going to see this card immediately spin back down and do some crazy things. And to the people that are going to sit here and they're going to be like, well, you know, it's going to be a $50 box. I love terrible opinions on this game. And it literally amuses me with how bad some of the takes are from people. They're like, oh, you know, this card is going to be worth it. Uh, yeah, okay. You, you would be very, very shocked to actually see how some of this stuff will actually hold up in the long haul here. Uh, your Dark Magician, only $70, surprisingly. I'm actually very happy about that. The Light and Darkness Dragon Lord coming in at $68. That's a little bit more acceptable, I feel like. Tales of the White Forest, uh, surprisingly. Somebody has a light play for 50 How do you have a light play? I Okay. You also have the Dragon of Pride and Soul. These are 70 to 72 right now. Um, that's pretty major. Um, I feel like that lines up with where our Magician of Bonds and Unity and everything were, to be honest with you, but still. Uh, Silvera, 65s. Um, well, Charmies coming in at 50s right now. I'm also very curious to know where this little guy is going to hold up in the secondary market. Because remember, I mean, this might not be the best one, but it's enough that you got to look at and go, huh, this does have some sort of synergy. Uh, Silla Hat is at 56s. The Millennium Monk QCRs are 47s. Okay, <laughs> sure. I'll take that, I suppose. And then, of course, the Unstoppable Exodia, 45. Uh, Mimigul Master, 42. You also have the Mimigul Dungeon at 45. Regular Stellars are $30. Wow. Three cards in the Whitewoods confirmed at basically 90 bucks. Okay. Tract is a $23 card. That fell quickly. Uh, Sengenjin Wakes, $25 for a QCR. Um, if there's ever a card I wanted to pick up from the set, he's looking kind of good right now. Silhouette, the or Silhouette Trick, 20 bucks for a QCR. Okay, well, sure. Wedge U Temple coming in at 25. Okay, this Exodia stuff is going to be nothing. The Dia Blaster at 28. Oh, wow. And the regular Onk for 15. Wow, there are actually popular deals to be had back here, surprisingly. Is that 13 bucks? Okay. 
Fiend Smith, Requiem, 13. Uh, Diabal here, 11. Genroku coming in at 12 bucks. Silver Hat, 13. Okay. Maybe Gold Master, 10 to 11 dollars in the dungeon. Yeah, the core is actually looking like 60 bucks right now. That's kind of scary to think about in the long haul here. Your regular Dark Magician is five dollars. Good news, I mean, to all the Yu-Gi-Oh players or to all the Yu-Gi duelists out here. I really have to run out and get that. Wow, that is two bucks. I okay. <laughs> Rosalia dollar fifty. Regular sing engines are a dollar fifty. That's kind of sad, actually. Yo, looking at this Millennium support, this stuff is nothing. And Dissy Ray down here coming in, really, really cheap. So uh, takeaways from this, we have some very, very, very cheap QCRs. I like that a lot. I like that you have options available to you for that. Um, Better options than most, actually. So, we got to talk about some uh, WCQ-inspired cards here that, as we're heading through, you know, into Euros, into the WCQ, a couple things to kind of keep your eye on here. And Kree Photon is one of those. Basically, what ends up happening is either during the player's turn, send this card from your hand to the graveyard, pay after your life, you take no damage until the end phase. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can send a Photon from your hand to the graveyard to add this card to your hand. We don't really care about that. What we care about here is this is an anti tempi card. You're able to use this to stop your opponent from basically gaming you. Um, it has had a decent amount of application. I mean, you can look at your sales data here and see that this is representative of holy crap. Like, it has been getting torn out. And I think after this weekend, if the Tempai, you know, fanatics or the, the, the people looking at the Tempai stuff are seeing the crazy level of holy crap, like, you know, this deck is very scary, then eyes are back on the Curry Photon as that side option card for you to be able to do your thing. All right, do not underestimate what a based Karibo can actually do in a crappy situation to actually save you from getting gamed. Elemental Burst. Now, to the people that have not been paying much attention out there to the things that have been going on with this, you have 48 listings of this right now. Uh, you have to attribute a Wind, Water, Fire, and Earth monster on your side of the field to activate this card. Destroy all cards in your opponent's side of the field. So, uh, why is that actually good? Well, we have a very nice card in the game called Transaction Rollback, which allows you to roll this card on back and be able to punish your opponent with it. Isn't that so cool to think about out here? Yeah, this version is hitting about a dollar, dollar fifty for this, and it's only a one of. You don't have to rush out here and get multiple copies of this, which is good. The DR3 version, uh, somebody actually spent $15 for a nice meme, by the way. Shouldn't be nobody. Especially when there's a near me here for like six bucks. Just buy the light plays, people. It does the exact same thing at the end of the day. The Angel of Blue Tears. Uh, this has been, I mean, this card is rocketing up right now. How many we, we got listed? We still have 131 of this. Be thankful that this card actually is a literal rare. All right, now remember, if effect damage is inflicted except during damage, banish this card from your graveyard to set a normal trap card directly from your hand or deck. If set from the hand, it can be activated this turn. Uh, you know that Lacrimosa that has the ability to ping for that key 1200 damage on your opponent? Well, you can send out a free trap card from your deck. Um, I don't even need to tell you the vast amount of normal trap card options that are widely available to you to be able to punish your opponent with this card. Uh, but yeah, sitting here right now, 25 cents all day long. I, I don't think we're going to see this card, you know, hit a crazy level of things, but okay. And then there's the transaction rollbacks. You know, CRs for transaction rollbacks are $70 right now. How the mighty have actually fallen. Uh, genuinely pretty impressed with this one. 25s, 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 26 all day long. Um, if you're planning on going to the WCQ, you might want to keep an eye on this thing. I'm, I'm happy to say that the card has formally fallen a lot. That is a very nice thing to kind of think about out here. But in terms of, you know, just what's available and consistency across the meta, very, very, very interesting stuff. So, what do you guys think about today's market? As I said, wanting to be walking away with a booster pack with your comment down below. Remember, check out Kong's Cards discount code, MCO40 will save you on your purchase. And I tell you, there's going to be some insanity coming out tomorrow. You guys have a good rest of your day. Patrons, thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.